Hello guys, my name is Isaiah. Welcome to another story time with Isaiah. And now we're gonna read another book. But this book is probably all lots of other stories. And right now I'm gonna show you the book. And I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. This is the book. It's called The New Adventures of Curious George by Margaret and H. A. Ray. Now this book has many stories. Curious George goes to a chocolate factory. Curious George and the puppies. Curious George makes pancakes. Curious George feeds the animals. Curious George goes to a movie. Curious George in a hot air balloon. Curious George in the snow. And Curious George's dream. So I'm gonna read these. One day. I'm gonna read Curious George. Uh, goes to the chocolate factory one day. Curious George and the puppies tomorrow. Curious George makes pancakes on Friday. Curious George feeds the animals on Saturday. Curious George goes to a movie Sunday. Curious George in a hot air balloon on a Monday. And Curious George in the snow Tuesday. And Curious George's dream on, on next Wednesday. And so, so it's pretty simple. So, uh, so right now, we're going to go to Curious George. Go to the chocolate factory. Let's begin. This says George. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One day, George went for a drive with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. Look, George, the man said, there's a store in that chocolate factory up ahead. Let's stop for a treat. George left chocolate inside the store. Boxes of chocolate were stacked everywhere. But the man with the yellow hat found his favorites right away. George, he said, wait here while I buy these. And please, stay out of trouble. George looked around the store. He saw chocolate-covered cherries and fudge-flavored lollipops. The chocolate bunny caught his eye. And then something else caught his eye. What were all these people looking at? George was curious. He climbed up to get a better look through the windows. He see lots of trays people with little brown dots. What, what were all these little brown dots? George was curious. He found a door that led to the other side of the window. And the little brown dots were chocolates, of course. The toy guy was showing a group of people how to tell what was inside the chocolates by looking at the swirls on top. Uh, 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 this little swirl means fudge, and this one says that caramel is inside, and this one goes for marshmallow, and this is and this is the squiggle for for a truffle. This one is for nugget. Uh, 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 on this side as well is it, it's for orange fluff, and this one is is George's favorite, banana cream. George George followed the toy guy until they came to a, bl a, a balcony overlook. A room where the chocolates were made. Down below, busy, busy workers picked out the candy off the machine and put them in boxes. And these were the machines that made the chocolates with the swirls on top. When the chocolates came out of the machine on long belts. But how did they get those swirls? George was curious. He climbed down from, from, from the balcony and, and, and up into a machine. George peeked inside. He was trying to see what was breaking the swirls. And when all of a sudden, all the chocolates began to come out faster and faster. Uh, 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 sped by him so quickly to see he was running on legs on, on the road. Quick, bring more boxes, yellow man with a tall white hat. What happens? I asked another man. No one answered. No one knew what would happen. Everyone was so busy that no one noticed George. And the workers began to fall behind and the candy began to fall off the end of the belt. Save the chocolates, yellow man with a tall white hat. Meanwhile, George saw one of his favorites was by. He tried to catch the banana cream chocolate, but it was too fast. He chased it to the, to the end of the belt. At the end of the belt, a pile of chocolates were growing taller and taller. George had never seen so many chocolates. As he searches for the banana cream, he put the others in empty boxes. 
George was a fast worker, someone noticing yell, Bring that monkey more boxes. He he he's helping us catch Jack. Now the chocolates made into the boxes, but more chocolate fell on the floor. Just then George and Wilkins walked cut out the tour guide. Then in with the mail the old head. Get that monkey out of here, she yelled. He's really not chocolate. But this little monkey saved the chocolate is putting the workers. And then the mail then the mail the tall white hats. Said to George, You may have caused us some trouble, but you're a speedy little monkey. You deserve a, a big box of candy for all your help. George was glad. He he, he he was not in trouble, but he did not take the chocolates. Back in the parking lot, the workers say, wave goodbye as George and his friend got into the little blue car. George, uh, are you sure you, you don't want any chocolates before we leave? Asked the man with the yellow hat. George was sure. Well, that was a good little story. I thought that George would get into trouble, well, but he not. He, and he got the reward for chocolates. So, so, so okay, guys, we're going to leave. We're going to leave Curious George and the puppies tomorrow. Right now, I, 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 I want to show you the other books we're going to read. The next book we're gonna read is uh, 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 the Black History Month. The last day we're gonna read Tom Kids Heroes of Black History. Yeah, we're gonna read Harriet Tubman first. Yeah, and after that we will read a chapter book. Goosebumps with the Mummy. Goosebumps was my favorite. They're my favorite books. So we're gonna read those next. Okay, guys. See you on the next. See you on these next two books. Bye.